Not a, it's a, not a scam. It's a legend call. Social Security Administration, how can I help you today? I got a voicemail to call this number. Something wrong with my Social Security number. Okay, and sir, when did you get this voicemail? About 10 minutes ago, I think. <laughs> okay, and have you received a reference number or a case number associated with your piece of information? No. Okay. Uh, please give me some time as I go ahead and look for your database. Okay. Since you do not have the reference, uh, since you do not have the reference number, sir, can you go ahead and identify yourself so that I can help you out here? Yes. First name is Phil. P H I L. Last name Lacio. L A T I O. Phil Lacio. Okay. And uh, can you confirm the city you're calling from, sir? Moravia, New York. Okay, please stay connected. Let me go ahead and access your file. Okay. Okay, uh, Mr. Alicia, I've opened up your database, and I see that a case has been filed against your social. Uh, we have been hearing accounts of very suspicious activities from your social. Uh, these activities have been emanating from the state of Texas, so we believe uh, that your social has been compromised and somebody uh -huh. else is accessing your information at this moment. Uh -huh. Who's doing uh, that, I wonder? Uh, we will, the case is going on, sir. In okay. fact, uh, whoever, whoever is accessing your information right now okay. has used your uh, social security number to deal a number of fraudulent events in uh -huh. the state of Texas. So, okay. we have received, so we have received a case file against this. Uh, that has been filed by the DEA, and as of now, the case is in uh, in process procedure. Okay. So. All right. What do I got to do? Uh, well, first of all, sir, what I'll do is uh, you seem to be unaware. I'll give you the case briefing so that you yes. understand what has gone wrong. Okay, yeah, because I have no and idea then, what's going on here. I understand that, and then. After that, we'll go ahead and talk uh, what we, you got to do okay. to solve this, whether yeah. you need to hire an attorney oh, and how you need to... Uh, hire an attorney? <laughs> uh, the situation may come to this, sir, because we have conditional oh. proof that your social has been involved oh, no. in a number of fraudulent crimes. I can't afford an attorney. Uh, we'll see about that, sir. Uh, okay. First of all, uh, I... Let me tell you that in connection to these activities, uh, okay. two directives, uh, two, two directives have directives. been passed by the uh, by the jury. Uh, the, jury the first okay. will be an, uh, the first will be. I hope you can hear me, sir. Yes. Okay. The first will be the suspension of your social security number because a number of incidents have already been reported from your social oh. going wrong. So we will go ahead and block your social security number so that we can make sure that any of these activities that have happened up till now uh, are not carried over. They do not continue happening. Um, apart from that, when your social is blocked, you will not be able to access any of your assets uh, because they will be confiscated by the U.S. Treasury. Well, how can uh, you do that? How can you they do may that? Be tangible. Let me go ahead and speak. Uh, let me go like, ahead. How, speak, I don't know I how you could take I my asses. I don't know how you could do I will, that. I will give you your. I will give you your, your reasons, sir. Please, uh, yeah, please well, listen to me. It's a great government. Please listen to me. Okay, go ahead. Please, please, please listen to me. Uh, well, since a number of assets have been registered by whoever is accessing your information at this moment, we need to differentiate what kind of assets have been uh, possessed by you and what kind of assets are possessed by the fake people, so we will go ahead and confiscate all the assets because as of now Why all the assets can you just confiscate the bad peoples? Why you got to confiscate mine? Uh, because, uh, sir, we, we want to find the person who's handling your information right now. That is the only reason that we are going to block your social. Because once we block your social, the next time he or she tries to access your information, we will be able to trace them down and apprehend them. Uh, because you will be knowing that your social is blocked uh, and the next person won't, so it will be easier for us to trace the guy or the, the woman, whoever it is, accessing your information at this moment. Okay. Uh, okay uh, let me go ahead and 
give you the case briefing so that you understand what exactly is going on, so that you understand the terms of this case. Along okay, with go ahead. Okay, please find a piece of pen and paper so that we can oh. talk about this. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will ask you to write down my information first before the reference because uh, you might need my information uh, in a later future when you talk, uh, when you reach the courthouse for further proceedings. Out I got to go to the courthouse? Okay, I got the paper. What uh, am I? Okay. Okay, sir, please calm down. Uh, this is not a threatening. However, we only have allegations against you. Uh, there's still time for the case to be proven, so you're not guilty yet. Okay, go ahead. I understand that, sir. Uh, well, first of all, I'll write down my information so that you keep this for the reference, so that okay. you know the officer who dealt the case out to you. Yes, I uh, need your name. My name is Alex Miller. Alex Miller, Agent Alex Miller Agent from the Social Alex Security Administration. Okay. Social Security Administration of San Antonio. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you want to write down my office address, you can write down. It's 3438 34. East South Cross. What do I need that 38. for? I'm not going to Texas. Okay. I don't uh, then need you can write down I'm my badge number. I'm not going to Texas. I'm in New York. I understand that, sir. Then you can write down my badge number. In fact, the case uh, that was reported, the first incident, was reported in Texas, in the city of El Paso. That is why uh, the Department of San Antonio is working in conjunction with the other federal houses uh, to solve your case. Federal houses? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So. My badge number is S as in Sunday. S. N as in November. N. O two two four five. Okay. <clears throat> Let me repeat that. Let me repeat my badge number. It's S N O two two four five. Okay. I hope you have written down that correctly. Yes, now, I wrote it down correctly. Uh, please, okay. okay. Now please note that this conversation this conversation is being recorded by yes, the Social Security is. Administration okay. to gauge our quality and security. Okay. Apart from that. The case file that I'll be talking to you about today is a sensitive file from the database of the Social Security Administration, so I request you to keep this information safe and do not leak out this information to the wrong set of people because this might complicate your case since your identity has already been stolen. We do not want any more complications to this case by giving the, the case information to the wrong set of people. So before I go ahead, I have been asked by your case concerned officer to make sure that I give this case file to the correct person and to make sure that okay. this case file information is not right. So I will have you so okay. I will have you identify yourself okay. uh, so that I can okay. Please yes. verify your date of birth and Three, verify 16, your social security 50. number. Three sixteen fifty is when I was born. Also also verify your social security number. I'll be matching these values against the ones in my database. Okay, zero eight six one zero one four six three. Please stay connected. Let me go ahead and match these uh, values against the one in my database. Okay. Once, once the value is confirmed uh, to be matching, I'll go ahead and read out the case file to you, uh, and then we'll talk about whether you need to hire an attorney or. Uh, I can't hire an attorney. Oh, jeez. Okay, go ahead. Sure. Give me a minute. Please stay connected as I verify your information. Okay. Uh, please stay connected. Do not okay. drop the call. Thank you. Okay, uh, Miss Alicia, your data has been verified, and I okay, uh, good. see. Okay, now please listen to me very carefully as I go ahead and give you the case briefing, and please make sure that you do not interrupt me while I'm giving you the case briefing because this might make me miss out important points for you. Okay, yeah, and let's I would do ahead. that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> now, the investigation began when the. El Paso City Police Department recovered an, an abandoned Escalade, a car number CF9. That's a Cadillac. An Escalade. I wouldn't have a Cadillac. A Cadillac, sir. A, a Cadillac Escalade uh, car registration number CF9C958 uh, was found abandoned nearby oh. a Santa Teresa gas station uh, close to Highway 178 in El Paso. Uh, this is this I don't is know close where to New Mexico, is. so so the Escalade uh, contained traces of drugs and some and some blood stains. Now, whose blood was? Now the problem. Uh, well, as of now, sir, we have uh, we, we have no clue as to who this uh, blood belongs to. However, we have DNA uh, like we they have, do on CSI. <laughs> well, 
uh, it's different on shows, sir. The oh. shows always exaggerate things. Yeah, you're right. So, yeah, okay. Go ahead. So, this Escalade contained uh, traces of drugs as well. Forensics revealed that this drug was a Schedule II drug, cocaine. Um, okay. Apart from that, we found out we found out that this uh, car was rented using your personal information, that is your name, and we also went out to the rental agency and they gave us two addresses. One okay. of these addresses led us to an empty parking lot in San Antonio, so we do oh, believe that this car... Oh, that's a trick to use, yeah. So we do believe that uh, this car must have been kept there at the same parking lot in some recent past. However, the second address led us to the city of Aletton, Pennsylvania, where we got what? the U.S. Marshal to... Never heard of it. Uh, the, cele- the city of Roulette in Pennsylvania, yeah. so Roulette. I never heard of it. Okay. And okay. Are you are you sure about it? Positive. I never heard You've of never... Roulette, Pennsylvania. Okay. I'm in New York. Uh, just like... Just like the game Russian Roulette, uh, it's a city, uh, Roulette in Pennsylvania, where we got oh, Russian, a U.S. Marshal to Russian use. Roulette? I haven't uh, played that in a long time. Uh, I mean, no, it's... <laughs> the Russian Roulette is a different game, so let's come to the topic. Um, okay, I'm, so, I'm sorry. So, we went out to the rental agency and they gave us two addresses. I will talk about one, one of these addresses. The second address led us to the city of... Literally to in Pennsylvania, where we got the U.S. Marshal to raid an apartment, and he recovered about 22 pounds of cocaine, apart Ooh. from documents from financial institutions. Uh, wow. The documents from financial institutions were documents from banks. These are banking statements uh, from banks like the U.S. Bank, uh, J.P. Morgan and Chase, uh, Citizen Bank, SunTrust, Wells Fargo. The list is pretty long because we've recovered about 15 uh, bank account statements from the same apartment that the drugs were uh, recovered from. Wow. Now these accounts, now these accounts are special because uh, they have been registered using your social. So these are practically your accounts. They have been registered. So, so if I account. if I went to the bank, I could take all that money out. It's under my name, right? Um, I do not know that you could try. You could try that. I think I would. Uh, you could try that, but it's not a bad idea. I mean, they put then, it under my name. Why don't I just go to the bank and take well, it out? Uh, sure. I, I I hope you understand the gravity of the situation. I do, but if I could get all that money, I'd be all set. I really hope that you understand the gravity of the situation. What kind of case you are in, sir? Yes. Uh, the same. Let me tell you that okay. the same accounts that have been registered in your personal name, these same accounts have been used to deal a total transfer worth of a worth of about four hundred thousand dollars to uh, states both in the U.S. and outside the U.S. Apart from that, some of these transfers have also been done to some third world countries, including Pakistan. So we have that uh, as of how uh, these transfers. Uh, we have doubts about yes. the origins of this okay. case because, because they begin they begin with a random escalate being abandoned yeah, and some cool. drugs and they end up transfers to different countries. So we do assume that a cartel is operating oh. here uh, and planning planning up uh, activities. I better not take so the that, money out. Uh, I don't want to screw with them guys, right? That's your identity uh, now. In this cartel, your identity uh, has been entangled. Oh. Uh, so, so the Court 42C of the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Administration Act, uh, states that anybody who is charged for drug trafficking and money laundering will be behind the bars for a term of nine years, including a penalty of about $60,000, depending on the type of damage Who's done. Who's going to jail? Uh, uh, you're going to the me? jail, sir, once you're proven guilty. Why pro- me? Once proven guilty, you because, as of now, please listen to me very carefully. I'm trying, Alex, but I don't want to go to jail. I didn't even do nothing wrong. I understand that, sir. Right now, we have conditional proof, and you will be taken for oh. interrogation. And as the as the case proceeds, uh, we will see whether you are guilty or whether you are innocent. But as of now, we have conditional proof that your social has been involved in these incidents. So... Uh, 
we will have to keep you in the window of being a suspect, and you will always be the prime suspect in the window. of this case I don't because want to be in the case is. Okay. I believe I believe uh, you think that this is some kind of a mockery, sir. No, I but don't. I'm, I'm are... nervous, sir. I'm nervous. I'm 71 years old. You're talking about going to jail and hiring a lawyer. I'm nervous. Okay. Uh, I understand your problem, sir. Uh, can you share your perspective about this case with me? Share my what, sir? Can what? you share your perspective about this case with me? If you what does uh, have my any perspective matter? Why don't you just go catch the people and never mind my perspective? Well, sir, I will have to have some information, whether uh, you have lost your information in the past or somebody apart from you access your information or if you have uh, used this information in some online forums or if you have become a victim of some kind of a scam I'll need to I'll need you to answer uh, answer questions like these so that I can uh, pinpoint the reasons yes. as to how your okay. social might have gotten stolen okay. Anyway, uh, anyway, uh, what I'll do is I will uh, transfer your conversation to your case concerned officer. He will pick up your call, so I request you to be faithful to the authorities and also uh, to hello? try to help us. How? Uh, hello? Yeah. I fell out of the chair. Okay, uh, go ahead. Uh, what I'll do is I'll transfer this conversation to she your case my hip. officer. Okay. Uh, and please have a conversation with your case concerned officer. I ho hopefully he or she will be I able hope, to help you out. I hope so day. because I have to get uh, this hip fixed. Okay. Uh, please, uh, you have a warrant against you. It should be out soon. You'll be hearing from your local enforcement soon. So. Uh, before the court closes, uh, we will see what we can do about you today. Yeah. Uh, so please stay connected. Let me transfer okay. your conversation yes. to your concerned officer. Yeah, never mind my hip. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for holding the line. This call has been connected to me. My name is Lisa. So can I know who am I speaking with? This is Phil Lacio, Lisa. All right. So I believe, sir, that the gentleman who's talking with you before, he already provided you all this information. With the yeah, and he found a Cadillac to... Escalade, of all things, in a parking lot in Texas. I, I, I'm not in Texas. I'm in New York. Yeah, New York. All right. So you never been in Texas? Well, years ago I was. I, I worked under on Happy's Ranch, but that was in the 60s. Okay. Okay. So can you just go ahead? Can you just go ahead to just verify with me one more time your social security number? Didn't he tell you? But I just want from your answer to verify with me one from more time. From my end, your okay. Here's number. my. It's zero eight six one zero one four six three. Okay. So how old are you, sir? Seventy one. You are seventy one. Yes. Okay. All right, so this call has been connected to me with regard to your, uh, the, the case for drug trafficking and money laundering. Okay. All right, uh, has been uh, for the drug trafficking and money laundering. Uh, it has been registered into your name. And there was also an arrest warrant onto your name for... That's what he said, but I can't go to jail. I'm too old to go to jail. They'll take advantage of uh -huh. me. Okay, and okay. it has been found for many illegal activities, and apart from that, sir, there are several bank accounts and credit cards which has been opened with your name okay. and your social yeah. security number, where there are he lots of illegal that. transactions which has been done locally and internationally. Yeah, he so told me all this stuff. This? What do I have to say about it? I have to say it wasn't me. This was not you. If you are claiming that you are not the one, sir, that first step that what we need to do, that we need to get the case file and the arrest warrant cancelled, and for that we need an evidence to prove you innocent inside prove, the courthouse. You gotta house. prove me innocent in the courthouse, okay? It's backwards, but, but okay. Your social, but your social security number will be suspended because the culprit who has been using your social, they will definitely try to use it again, but which they is not will. safe for you. 
but once the arrest warrant gets cancelled, once your name will be clear from this case, then we can generate a new social security number for you, okay? Okay. Alright, so in order uh, in order to generate a new social, I have to fill out a form which is called SS5. SS5. It is an application form for your... Yes. Okay. It is an application form yep. for your new social security number. Oh. Well, I will be asking you some question regarding your asset and you have to verify it some needful question okay. um, information with me okay? okay hurry up okay so my first question is that that the house that you are living in it is your own house it's or my own house rented? it's my house okay and do you have a car under your name yes I have a 98 Buick LeSabre I'm sorry what is that 98 Buick LeSabre yeah had a sense it was new. Okay. All right. Okay. So, how many bank accounts you are having? I got one bank I deal with. All right. So make sure, sir, as a federal agent, we are not yes. authorized. To, okay. We are authorized yes. to get any personalized banking okay. information over the phone from anyone. Okay. But no account number, no routing number, no okay. debit card number will be asked. Right. So I just need to know what is the name of the bank that you are banking with. Titty Bank. Okay. So in this Titty Bank, do you have a checking or saving? Both. So how much do you got in checking? You just told me you couldn't ask me that stuff. Yes, but I won't ask a card number, a routing number, a debit card number, or in not the account number as well. So we just need to know that how much you're holding, how much you have in your checking account approximately. Approximately probably 400. And what about the saving? Probably poof, maybe 600, I don't know, not much. Okay. And do you have any investment under your name? No. Do you have credit card? I got one credit card, yes. So what is the name of your credit card? Master, it's a master card from Titty Bank. All right. So what okay. is the limit of that? What is the limit of your card, your credit card? 2000 2000 And how much do you owe it with them? 2000 That means that max out, right? That means, yeah, I don't have anything left. All right, so can you just give me a moment? Just me for, let me forward this all information uh, to my higher authority, okay? Okay, okay. All right, so uh, before I do that, sir, can I have your address? 100 Main Street, Moravia, New York, 13118. 13118. Yes. Hold on. Okay. We're not able to take your call right now. Goodbye. Huh? Sorry, but your call cannot be completed.